<laughs> it happened again. All right, let's see if it's going to get uh, better or worse as we head in to King of the Hill for game number five between B and Dow, and it will be France on France, despite the confusion that was set in even for our production. We didn't know where this one was going. We assumed maybe we get some France, but I guess the knock-on effect, which we'll talk about after this game, is the wacky sieves that are left for the remaining maps. First of all, we need to resolve what looks like quite a gold-heavy map and quite a wacky generation for what should be cavalry I, on I cavalry I was going span. to say there's way too much gold there on this is map. like they, usually there's like half gold half stone but there's only one big stone in the middle it's just gold it's just pure gold it, it's almost like the game is like france versus france tick jet this is just gold rush now just everyone gets gold you guys don't need stone maybe one of you does we'll leave one single stone outcropping in the center but that's you it. get gold, and you get gold, <laughs> and you get gold. Wow. You so, all get uh, gold. Basically, stone will be as rare as gold this game. I mean, they've got, the, in fairness, they've actually got as much stone in their base than there is on the rest of the map. Right. So, uh... <laughs> that's... <laughs> I mean, yeah, these generations I mean, today, man, these generations have been something else. <laughs> all right, so... One thing, oh, wait, can he pass? No, I don't think he can. Never mind. Uh, one thing I can say is I like Doubt's spawn way better because you see that little north forest that he has going on, like the double forest? He yeah. can wall that off with the tiniest wall ever. And French versus French Mirror, I actually played one today when I played ladder, and it, it's all about, you know, knights versus knights. If you actually try to divert from it, I feel like you're just putting yourself behind. So... On this map, because it's so open, if you manage to wall this whole area, like the whole north area, with one tiny wall, you're in a really, really good position. Because then suddenly you just got to defend the south side. And then if you look in B side, he has three different sides he can at get attacked from. So he needs to be a lot more careful and a lot more active with uh, his units. No, most definitely. I think the, the other, like, kind of knock-on effect you have to think about with those tree lines is actually, like, to support the fact that Dow got the better spawn even more, is not only is that a natural choke point, but there's a crap ton of trees, right? Like, you're sorted on wood, right? You're never, never going to run out. There's never going to be a stronghold wood needed moment. When I look across at B, I see, please, sir, can I have more wood? Follow up a, please, sir, can I have more wood? By finally, I have wood, but now I'm so far away from my base and I have no natural defenses that I'm definitely going to get attacked by cavalry. Yeah, luckily for him, this matchup isn't super wood reliant. Actually, if B goes and walls like where his scout is right now, he can put a couple of walls there and wall off that whole side. Hmm. But luckily, like I said, this is a matchup where you don't really depend on wood too much. So I don't think it's going to turn out to be the, the biggest deal. Um, you, you like say I said, that. it's all about knights. Uh, you're right, I say that and then <laughs> 10 minutes but later there's two. walls in each other's bases and the walls are, you know, making the units stuck on top of them. So who knows? Yeah, it's a wacky experience whenever you watch B and L. And we'll see what the wacky experience is going to be this time around. It's just going to be, at the moment, school cavalry on both sides. More or less matched in terms of pacing. Doubt had one more person on it, but it looks like he's going to even up once he spots out how many people B has constructing his. And then we should just begin the, the tedious element of mirror matchups, where we watch one push a night out, and the other push a night out, and then the other push a night out, until someone slips up in a fight, and then we just slowly watch them take control of the game. I really yeah. did make mirror matchups sound exciting there, didn't I? Uh, I mean, honestly, out of all mirror matchups, I enjoy French vs. French quite a bit because it's yeah. very dynamic. Like, it's not uh, one of those mirror matchups like, okay, I sit here, you sit there, and we macro up. Like, you should go with the first knight straight away. And you have an option, you either prevent their knight from attacking or you just kind of attack them, they attack you, and you try to handle it on your own side. So there's a lot of multitasking involved in, in this matchup. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Like, if you compare it to, say, if both sides were doing man at arms, you want to fall asleep, right? Like, there's nothing happening. Right, it's, it's slow. And it's, yeah. But then uh, like, I think this nice is... Nice snacking on villagers is always a nice experience. Mm. Definitely. I think, like, uh, the one like, that's something I always highlight with, like, Marine Law whenever I cast him. is like, he loved playing France at first because 
you know, he, he would just pull his opponent apart. I think he was the first one who just went up to like four or five different knight groups at the same time. And you just watch him just essentially encircle the enemy base and be like, where's he going to strike next? Where's he going to go? And you just feel like your mind is melting as you have to react to every single one of these raids. It's, it's definitely exciting to watch. And then, you know, eventually it's a case of whether you leveraged enough that your opponent has to fall back first, or do you have a big enough knight count off the back of an eco lead that you can now come back and address their raiding. But most of the time, it, it just feels like it's an initial dance in the center, followed by the choice of do we just stand here staring at each other or do we just go after each other's economy yeah and um down going for a wheelbarrow no professional scouts for him and no professional oh. scouts from b that is very surprising to me no he's going wheelbarrow think, as well yeah but no professional scouts for either player i think mm. is very surprising because uh you know in any matchup it's hard to get food right because you know, there's active units everywhere, usually harassing and so on. But this is a matchup where it's so risky to not have your villagers around your TC. And by yeah. not getting professional scouts, you right, you have to move out on the map and get food, which kind of further exposes you to lose villagers uh, in the long run. Speaking of losing villagers, Doubt's going to strike first, straight in. We'll club one of B's down instantly. And this really is a matchup where, like, you feel you should be getting textiles. Like, it's going to be so much value yes, across the yes, course yes, of this game. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, this is... The, I mean, anytime you play against French, you should get textiles really early. Because a knight will hit your villager at a point. doesn't matter how well you defend. And, like you said, especially in this matchup. Yeah, and it looks like B was able to strike back. So they are equal on the eco count at the moment. Um, but who's going to lose the knight is the real question. I mean, look, they've both got one... Equally damaged, limping away, but it looks like Doubt is being drawn more attention towards B, so he's not going to actually be able to like look to move forward with his slight knight lead. And I think it looks Ooh, like and, and B. Did he Doubt get it? Actually, yeah, yeah, Doubt wow. lost the knight, but B uh, did not because Doubt started attacking the scout. So B has a knight lead. He just needs to get it upgrade and heal it up uh, nicely. But already, you know, being one knight up is uh, quite a big difference at this stage in the game. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, it got serious, Beastie. We only needed a mirror matchup, but instead of the, the tomfoolery of this series, all of a sudden, uh, stakes Give it higher. time. Give it time. Hold up. There hey. is still time. Hey, you know, by this stage in the game, something's gone kind of awry, usually. Oh, nice snipe out. So he even gets the scout. And apparently, the uh, the map gods have decided whoa, whoa, whoa. that Doubt is having a hard time, so even the wolves join in to assist Doubt. Where did the... Oh. What was that villager doing? Villagers... What? Yeah, they had two villagers running south, but I'm not sure if he was trying to wall off. <laughs> he might have. I'm assuming. There's no... I don't know why else he would send them there. Just think so this the is the craziest thing now. possible. Look, look at these two knights, right? They're denying the gold, and this is yeah. terrible for B right now. Like, yes, he's not losing any workers, but he's not mining gold, so he's actually not producing... Uh, or will stop producing knight soon if he doesn't have any gold stack, which he does not. And on the other side, you have Doubt doing the wall up that I mentioned. So now that whole side is going to be sa super safe for him. Yeah, and it looks like in the meantime, B, all he's going to really deny is wood. And as you said, you don't really need the wood in this matchup. So it's pretty much a shrug of the shoulders situation. Yeah, and the Clown Fiesta start on both sides. There are three knights in B's base. He lost another villager in the wood line. He's still not mining gold, by the way. B, you got to reset oh. on that. B. But he's actually down on the night count. Oh, he's butchering a few villagers now. He actually forced his opponent off the goal line, but he's hanging around so long, he might go deeper on that night count as he almost loses another one. It's getting a little bit worrisome about the way that like B's playing. I don't know. I, I feel like some of it you can kind of say is towards generation because you mentioned there's no like, natural move in on the north anymore. But overall, it just feels like Doubt is just kind of dancing around B in each of these fights. After that initial moment where he lost the knight and traded it for a scout, like ever since then, it just feels like Doubt's getting better trades. Yeah, especially because, like like I said, that first uh, knight, right, ensures you that you can be aggressive while having one extra knight in your base defending. Mm -hmm. uh, but then, since then, it just kind of went wrong. I'm not even sure what happened. I think uh, Doubt just went straight for the gold and B didn't, so he stopped his knight production. Another thing is, um, that we didn't mention is Doubt doesn't have a blacksmith and B doesn't have a second uh, uh, stables, right? So he's actually producing one night at a time and Doubt is producing two at a time. So he's just outproducing him by double right now. 
I mean, Chivalry is at least there. B did have a lot of injured lads that needed healing. And it looks like B is going to blink first. He's going to be going towards the racks. Understands that he actually needs an effective unit to defend his base while he's out raiding with the rest of his troops. He did save those knights in the center, by the way, by using the scout to uh, push the enemy knights further away. Nice little detail that we don't get to see too often because it would be quite clunky usually. Yeah, so now, see, this uh, is a situation uh, where he's not losing, but... Uh, it isn't great. When you go Spearman, you're kind of accepting like, oh, I can't be aggressive anymore. I have to go on defensive. So this means that Doubt will not be taking eco damage most likely. And it's kind of on B to either take zero damage or lose workers as he is right now. So it's already putting uh, uh, Doubt in a really, really good position. Like look at all these workers just running around. Yeah, this is this looks like it's getting confusing for B. He doesn't even have enough room to protect all of them. I like that he just turns around and starts attacking. He's like, screw it, you know, you wouldn't attack me anyway. I'll just get my shivs out and he will be able to offset the knights. So eco count after that is still even though. Despite all that effort, like B is keeping even with Doubt all times. He's still raiding in with small groups of knights across the Doubt side of the map. But overall, it, it does feel like Doubt is starting to get more value as he's able to move out in a pocket eco while B is still stuck kind of congested underneath his TC. Yeah, and uh, let's see, Doubt no textiles, and B did get textiles, so his yep. workers will be able to survive uh, you know, a little bit longer and not die. Now, this is the thing, right? If you look at B's food, he has to go quite far away on the south to get the food oh there. My. And if Doubt sees this, which by the way, he has he a did. scout on top of that hill, so he saw the workers moving out there. Yeah, and if and he that's... just sends a couple of knights, I mean, that is bad, bad news for him. Well, he's already got one knight in here. That knight, of course, is at least injured, so that'll work out for B. He is going to wall this off, so he's just trying to force those choke points. Luckily for him, I, I, no, you can get through further to the south. I don't even know if B recognizes this. No, he hasn't actually scouted out yet, so Doubt might have a way in, but it looks like he's going to reveal it to B when he tries to run away with this knight. Yeah, and... Uh... Doubt is super committing to Feudal. He has third stables going up. So I think he's just going to outmass and completely try to outproduce his opponent. And B kind of giving up on this knight playstyle, right? He's going to spear, so he's going to be playing more defensive. So mm -hmm. Doubt has to try and do damage wherever he can. Or he's just going to fall behind. Because eventually, you know, if, if B has like 30 spears, obviously you can't do run buys anymore. But at this point, spears are pretty weak because they, they can't really catch up with the knights. It does feel like it's slowly tilting towards B's favor, though. Like, and that's why Doubt now has to find this value because he is behind this stage even after investing in extra stables. He has to find a way in. But you can see now the spearmen coming out. That's going to actually buffer this off and spend... That's going to actually invest a lot of time in allowing these rural knights to heal off the damage they took. It's very hard now for Doubt to turn around and strike back at any point. That means he just keeps getting poked in the back with these lances at all times. Yeah, I'm actually not sure how Doubt doesn't have bigger lead in knights. I feel like B has more knights, but I Doubt think... has had second stables the whole time. So I think like it, it looked like what happened is Doubt, because he goes in these splinter groups of knights, obviously you can you know harass all over the place. But B, there was a moment in the center where he just took all of his knights more or less and just attack clicked in a direction. And I think that kind of offset it and, and skewed the balance a little, so Doubt wasn't able to take that fight. Lost one or two knights or took heavy damage. And since then, B just kind of been controlling en masse in the center. And you start to feel this getting very uncomfortable for Doubt because he still hasn't actually cross switched over to a new unit type. As you said, he went for another stable and it means that he has no answer to these spearmen at all. And while you can dance around the spearmen, it becomes a problem when they're getting to the outskirts of your base. Yeah, Doubt ran out of berries in the middle of his base. So he's gonna try to make one farm, but he doesn't have enough wood to transition to more and he definitely needs way more food I'm sure where he's gonna i mean he could just get the berries where his current knights are i guess but that is very very exposed yeah it's definitely in the contested territory oh this jumping knights oh big mistake b loses one straight away spearman gonna be overmassed as well at least the lances are out of the way so there's not that initial charging and the buff is at least running out so he'll try to take the fight as best he can but b needs to peel off before he loses the entire battalion yeah, this is a problem with the spears, right? Even if B said like, oh, there's too many units, I can't fight this, you can't really run away, right? Like, you're forfeiting your spears at best and running away with knights, but then what does that leave you? You just have less knights in the end. 
And this is why going spears is most of the time just a mistake. In this game, B went for it because he was losing the night battle there for a moment. Uh, but in the end, it's kind of not working out too great for him. And once again, just not bracing those spears. We'll take the fight now. He can't allow Doubt to flood in. Not with all the pocket ecos, he's now floating. So the stairs go wrapped around the back to make sure even if Doubt tries to pull back the Knights, he'll take casualties on the exit. And instead, Doubt is just going to sacrifice the entire army. He thought it was going better, but he was mistaken. Big hit into Doubt's count. All of a sudden, now down to, was that 10? Yeah, 10 military units trying to reinforce, but suddenly, B getting signs of life again. So if you, if you look at the... Oh, there's a fight on the middle, but if you look at the north wall of Dao, there's a villager that's trying to chop wood. But every time the villager goes for the chop, the wolf attacks it and cancels the chopping oh animation. My God. And by the time he realizes <laughs> that the wolf is attacking him, Dao realized and now he's re-walling again. So that could have been potentially, you know, very sneaky, dangerous move for him, but luckily Dao realized in time and, you know, thank you, wolf, for the uh, assist. Oh, uh, well. worked out great for him. We mentioned it earlier that the uh, the guy units were only attacking B. It looks like they've kept that alliance going. And he definitely needs it because when you look at the eco count, Dao is still five eco behind B. And B, it seems like after that fight went so well, he doubled down the night production. You see, he didn't float additional resources looking for that scale up. Instead, he's trying to just amass to a point where he's got enough spears and knights to just push through and take an emphatic victory in the center. I'm not sure if we missed... Uh, a bunch of villagers lost from Doubt, but how is he behind? I feel like he killed villagers like over and over again when he was doing the raids, but he's somehow behind on workers. There, there's no way he missed. There's no way he had idle production time, right? There's no way. Not at this level. But he killed so many villagers on the other side, so that, that, that means he would have to lose even more. Which yeah, but but I'm saying like maybe the alternative is he he didn't have resources to produce villagers. But I'm saying there's no way that happens. Like a high level player, like that never happens, right? You, even if you're starved resource wise, you always make sure you got enough to push out additional villagers. Yeah, I guess. But uh, I, don't I mean, I, I felt like this was better for doubt pretty much the whole game. Mm. But B is just. Again, he's just having more knights uh, throughout the game, even with less production buildings for the knights, which is never uh, never a good sign. Just pulling out that B magic, and now he's going to force an engagement. Charge in. Thanks the attack. Spears get the initial stabs out. The brace coming out from Doubt's side, but it looks like B is willing to commit to this, and it's looking decent for him right now. His spearmen aren't holding long enough. Meanwhile, the spear count's still healthy for B, having six alive, and it means that Doubt is quickly going to lose this fight, but he can't afford to because that will lead to a flood through under his economy, his economy that is already behind B's. But it looks like that's the way it's going. Knights are going to be cleaned up. The snowball effect begins. He tries to get more troops into the mixer, but if you just push them in like this, they're going to die instantly one by one. Oh, and B just cleans him up and not even cleans him up like he has so many units left over there's 12 knights now for B and just not many knights for for doubt and now we're in reverse situation where doubt is producing mass spearmen in order to try and hold and B is kind of focusing more actually he's focusing on both knights yeah and spears and more importantly B has started gathering gold on the middle so he's slowly, you know, getting that gold, establishing that position, which even if nothing happens from here on out, uh, Doubt will run out of gold. So he actually needs to kind of move towards the middle and gain that part. And the crazy part, as you can see, actually, because he's suffering so much from the food and wood, he dropped a marketplace with the intent to sell off this additional gold, right? So he understands he's floating way too much eco there. He's drained himself dry, but as you said, he's going to run into an issue soon where he's going to have to shift towards the center. I think this really just so far has... I've spoken volumes to B's like efficiency in these fights. When you consider the fact that Dao has every stage more or less doubled him up on the military production buildings, yet B is so clearly ahead. In fact, when we look at the military side, it, it's 42 to 36. He's killed six more units despite the fact he's always been behind Dao in terms of how many buildings he has to push out these troops. Yeah, and now we see B going around trying to find an angle. I mean, this tower just gives him so much vision. He's not going to be uh, surprised. You say that. Doubt's Dow, Dow, not paying attention. Oh my god, the villagers just get butchered. He garrisons a few of them, but with so many knights, you're not going to do enough damage here. And in fact, B could turn around and take the fight. Spear on spear. Knights spread out. 
Spears trying to get in the mix up, but they are outnumbered and they know it. And once again, it looks like Doubt is just going to lose the army. Spears will at least give him some decent trades against these 14 knights. But at the end of the day, it's going to be B with a standing army and Doubt being wiped again. Yeah, it's not looking good for Doubt. Like losing workers and he's just going to lose the fight. In the end, B just has too, too many units right now. That being said, you could argue B hung around a little bit too long to the point it started to get diminishing trades. And as a result, not much of a standing force to try and pin his opponent in. But as you say, eco lead scaling now. It's a 14 eco lead now for B as he's at 66 workers. Doubt at a measly 52. Yeah, and this is a mirror matchup, right? So any any worker lead is kind of like a, a much bigger lead than usual. Mm -hmm. uh, one good thing that is going for Doubt is that he does have farms established. <laughs> and b doesn't so b is kind of still getting food from the map and at a point he will run out and needs to transition to farm so that's something that usually slows you down quite a bit because then you start got to start chopping wood you can't produce as many units and you kind of have to perhaps scale down on your unit production um but with that being said you know there's still boars on the map there's still deers on the top and it just depends how far B wants to push this and how much he wants to continue going for it. Yeah, he's definitely investing it with the Palisade defenses. Uh, a little bit wonky there is he actually stopped his reinforcements coming through for a while. That's why he's starting to look weak in that, that middle fight. He's still looking healthy. In fact, he still has an eight military unit lead over Doubt. But Doubt, you can see the desperation. He just needs to go out with these small raiding parties. This is really what Optimizing France is all about. But it's so hard to sneak in unnoticed because of all the walling that B is committed to. He actually finally chopping down the wood on the north, by the way. He finally... <laughs> He's in. He finally... Yeah, he finally got in. He just needs to send a couple of knights there, and that's going to be a lot of damage into his oh, uh, wood line. He's no. actually building a wall, so it can't be uh, walled <laughs> off. Also, really bad news for Doubt. I think he spotted that. The archer range dropped. And if we look in Doubt's base, well, you know, he doesn't have that switch over. He's now building the first archery range, but because these walls that you mentioned have gone down, you can see that B is just going to deny him any ability to prevent him from getting through here. And that means your only source of wood is about to be exposed. But luckily for him, there's still room. He gets the passe ball down in the end, and it means that B is going to sacrifice this villager and not have clear way into that wood line. That was pretty funny. He's building walls to prevent like the further walling. Yep. But he just re-walled the same spot. <laughs> It's like, oh, whoops, I may have forgotten about he's that like, important right. detail. Oh my god, look at B. B what? is not transitioning to farms. He's just getting food in it's front just... of the Oh this. my god. Well, I mean, he's, he's never been pushed back. A lot of spears here this time around, though. Maybe not enough archers, but considering the Zerg that B has been building, Doubt cannot hold against him. He's going to pull back the knights and just sacrifice the spears as they fight off against their counterpart while being peppered by the few archers that have arrived. And this, this is becoming futile quickly. I mean, Doubt, he's running out of places to run and hide. That's the biggest concern. And this time, look how many troops are left for B. Over 20 armies still up and healthy on the front line here after taking a pretty convincing victory in this fight against Doubt. Yeah, and this, this has to be, uh, you know, the beginning of the end for Doubt. He will not give up yet because if you lose this one, it is the end. But there's just so, so many units in his uh, face right now. I mean, he's got le next to nothing left. Look at the food. You know, look at the wood, look at the gold. He's not really flowing. Additional eco, he can trade off instantly. And if that farmer never gets access, it, it's all lights out. I, I think this archery range expansion on the front line is definitely going to hurt him as well. He won't have to count the spears. And you know what? I, I think you got to give it a beat. When he's able to walk across to his opponent's base, and gather his own berries from under his nose. You gotta give it over to this man. He wins in style. Did you? And B takes it. That he does. So in the end, 4-1. Not a complete stomp, although in fairness, this this final game. My God, did it look a, somewhat skewed, somewhat one-sided. I mean, up until around 10 minutes, you can even see it when you look on the the timeline side of things. It was looking good for Doubt. We mentioned he was ahead. He was getting good assassinations. He had a nice generation. Things were looking up. Then all of a sudden, you blink twice. You look back at your screen and bees everywhere. He's extracting eco everywhere. He's raiding everywhere. And somehow Doubt is just sacrificing villagers either to B or Imhotep. I don't know who he's going and giving them over to, but they were disappearing in mass all of a sudden. Yeah, I mean, I, I would say that was a good comeback from B. Like, he was definitely behind.
not in a good spot. Like I said, if whenever you're forced to build Spearman, you're put on the defensive. And he kind of managed to claw out of it, got some good engagements. Uh, maintained the night count compared to Doubt, even though he had less production. And from then on out, just managed to, uh, to win the game.